The original structure of the museum is made out of keystone, a type of limestone here in Miami. The Miami limestone, originally called Miami Oolite, is a geological formation of limestone found in southeastern Florida. Look closely and you can see fossils of corals, mollusks, and algae. In 2001, the original museum building was renovated and a new wing designed by renowned architect Arata Isozaki was added to house galleries, offices, and a museum shop. By 2017, the Bass concluded a comprehensive transformation and reopened to the public on October 29, 2017. Working with architects Arata Isozaki and David Gold, the renovation expanded the internal structure to create an almost 50% increase in programmable space, including four new galleries, a museum store and cafe, and a designated education facility to better serve expanded programs and increase attendance. As you enter this historic building, locate and scan the green QR codes throughout the galleries to explore how artists address important environmental themes like climate change and sea level rise and more. Allow me to introduce you to Silvia Cubigna, Executive Director and Chief Curator here at the Bass. Hello and welcome to the Entry Points Tour focused on climate. At the Bass, we continue to create connections between international contemporary art and the museum's diverse audiences. The Bass shares the power of contemporary art through experiences that excite challenge and educate. The exhibition program encompasses a wide range of media and artistic points of view that bring new thoughts to the diverse cultural context of Miami Beach. Artists in the collection do not attempt to solve climate issues or posit scientific answers, but rather bring questions and point to the realities of their times, stirring up conversations. As you follow along, you'll learn about the artist's intentions, ideas, and thoughts on the current environmental effects we're experiencing in Miami Beach and elsewhere around the globe. 